What's going on guys? Rick here. And today I wanted to finally bring you guys the revamped version of the fishing guide. Uh, previously I did a fishing guide about two years ago. I got a lot of positive feedback from you guys. and I really, really appreciate that. Um, it's uh, It means a lot. You guys are really great. Uh, the community for the long dark is absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and get into the second variation of the fishing guide if you will there has been some changes and that's kind of what I want to talk about in this video I am going to give a straight up guide and um, just general information and then talk about some of the new stuff well new since the last video so let's go ahead and talk about that so ice fishing as it's called in the game can be done in fishing huts you're going to get one of two species of fish which are basically irrelevant because you've got saltwater fish and you have freshwater fish and you're going to catch them identically the same there's no difference at all um, and it doesn't really affect your um, your calories that you're going to be I guess catching when you catch these fish the the difference is not going to be uh, that much uh, based on the weight of the fish this is going to increase the amount of calories that you're going to receive from the fish when you cook it and then eat it and um, you can do you know you could catch the fish and eat it raw uh, at your own risk I would definitely not do that um, if you cook it you will and I always recommend cook the fish not just because you could get food poisoning if you don't but you're gonna get lantern fuel lantern fuel is really great you're gonna have a, like an infinite amount of lantern fuel if you choose to go ahead and just cook the fish that you have got and that's going to give you um, I think it's 0 0.01 of a gallon per fish so if you catch 10 fish that's 0 0.10 of a gallon or 10 percent of a gallon so this is good um, the higher level your skill is it's going to reduce the time that it takes for you to catch a fish and less of a chance for your line to break while you're fishing so that's always good now you will require a tool uh, a few tools to actually do the fishing you're either gonna need a pry bar a heavy hammer a hatchet a hunting knife an improvised hatchet or an improvised knife and what's changed from the last guide is that the improvised hatchet and improvised knife were not even in the game at the time I created that video so with those two things you can now craft either of those an improvised hatchet or knife and that will allow you to be able to um, do fishing early on if you're unable to find those tools which is really nice um, you will still need a hook and a line to create fishing tackle and then once you've created the fishing tackle then you can fish you have to have that in order to fish if you don't have that you're kinda hosed um, so let's talk about where you can find these fishing spots I didn't really talk about that a whole lot in the last video but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna list them here and then I will give locations on the map so spoiler alert if you don't wanna see that you can skip ahead a little bit in the video but uh, it's mystery lake and the location is actually Mystery Lake. Coastal Highway, so there's the Fishing Camp, the Log Sort, and Quinnesset Gas Station. And that's a salt, those are saltwater fish. Not that it really matters. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the water type is saltwater, and you can catch coho salmon and rainbow trout there, but it, that again doesn't really matter. Pleasant Valley in the Pensive Pond which is the one I highlighted in my last video and then Timberwolf Mountain which is at Crystal Lake and again I'll post pictures of each of those locations here on the screen you can pause those if you need to now let's go ahead and get into uh, skill levels and how that new uh, it's not really new but it's new as of the last video for sure so there's skill levels in the game you can get uh, a research book called the frozen angler and this is if you read it which it takes about five hours will increase your skills uh, your skill level or skill points by 10 which will get you to the next level 
there are five levels one being just basic ice fishing skill which is going to give you nothing just a baseline and a, the ability to fish which everyone has when you start level two will be fishing time reduced by five percent and an eight percent chance of the line and break on catch so i think the base level i believe is ten percent second level eight percent chance level three fishing time is reduced by ten percent this takes 50 skill points by the way so the first level is zero level two is 10 skill points required for three is 50 and again that's reduced uh, reduce fishing time by 10 percent and a five percent chance of the line break on a catch level four 150 skill points you get 10 percent to the average uh, fish weight added to the fish when you catch it. You also have a 20% reduction in fishing time and a 3% chance for your line break to, uh, to line the line to break on a catch. And then level five is 250 skill points. So it's quite a bit. It's quite a lot. It's 25% average added to the fish's weight, 30% reduction in fishing time, and a 1% chance for that line to break on a catch, which is really, really good. So, I mean, if you like fishing like I do, I have this weird obsession with fishing in video games. I don't know what it is. I just like to do it. So, things to keep in mind. Um, all of the fishing huts are going to have pot belly stoves. This is super, super good thing to have. So, you can just cook the fish right there when you get it, which is really nice. You should always probably try to bring some fish fire supplies with you if you're going on a fishing excursion so you can cook the fish and get lantern oil from that or lantern fuel um, and each fishing session is treated um, as its own entity or as its own thing so when you uh, do longer sessions of fishing you'll catch more fish so typically what you want to do is do a longer session if you can and you'll catch more fish than you would if you just had a shorter session like if you did one hour of fishing you're probably only going to catch one or two fish but if you decide to do a few hours two three hours of fishing you're going to catch substantially more so that's another thing to keep in mind and again the uh, catching fish and cooking them is going to give you a, a renewable source of lantern oil or lantern fuel so I recommend that you always do this. Always catch, uh, when you catch it, cook it if you are able to. If you're not able to and you have to on the fly just eat it while it's raw, you can do that. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. Um, if you have a jerry can in your inventory and it's not full, it's going to add that lantern fuel to the jerry can. If you don't have a jerry can, it's just going to create a bottle of lantern fuel. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully not two years from now. All right, take care. Bye.